Welcome to how we know we're alive. This game has been requested a few months ago as a free experience that is very, very deep and heartfelt for the soul, apparently. This game is supposed to be, to be about one hour long and it's gonna make us maybe cry. Oof. So yeah, let's just go. We're in without any ideas of what's gonna happen. Mm. Modvin Studios. Hey, what you up to, Maria? Click. Okay, click. Imog Invest Knights August Hawkot. Oh, it's a Swedish game or Norwegian. I don't remember if Hawkons on the Swedish or Norwegian. Maria, hey, how's it going? How's Stock? Okay, Stockholm. Sweden. <laughs> Also, I'm a deep lover for pixelated games like this. This is so odd. Or it makes like 3D elements like the light in the bus. Hey, it's been a while. Give me news. So Maria has texted three different people or the same person now on this bus ride. What's new with you? Lots of love. Wait, is this going to be about loneliness? Sorry, just totally swamped at the office these days by Sarah. Let's speak soon, X. I ran into uh, Petter the other day. Do you remember him? Petter, as in Peter, but in Swedish. Would you believe he's a mechanic now? So much for his punk band, lol. <laughs> oh, catching up with old friends, okay. Anyway, lives uh, okay on my end, not much to report. Would be so nice to catch up properly soon. Hey, let me know when it might be a good time for ketchup. Sarah, there's something I want to talk to you about. Can you call me as soon as you can? ASAP when you get that. Uh, ASAP when you get this, if that's okay. It's really important. So sorry I missed this. I'm stuck at the office. I probably will be all weekend. Next week will be better, I hope. But did, they, did Maria send like 16 messages of I wish you would get back to me while they were at the office one day, or is this several days? Use arrow keys or WSD to move. Oh, that's me! Hello, Harunga. It's not great to see you, to be honest. Is that the city or the town? Guess I'll check if the flower shop is still open. Okay. Oh, look at the mixture of 3D and pixelated elements. Like, oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, Stat oil. Looking for the flower, flower shop, right? Patrol station. Can I click? Long live the patrol station. The only place in town we could trick someone into selling us a beer when we were under 18. <laughs> Piss weak. 3.5% beer. <laughs> but beer all the same. Oh, look at how it... Oh, it's made in different layers. So even if you like you're walking, it's still like three-dimensional in the movement of the building and like the statue, like a beam here, see? Like the window is still moving. It's... Oh, it's just not scrolling. It's actually movement. Click on objects to inspect the menu. If only Italians knew what we Swedes do with their beloved pizza. <laughs> pizza Verona. Ah, Pizza Ria Verona. I don't miss exams, but I do miss our post-exam post pizza ritual. Oh, I miss pizza. It's a burst. Blue House. What was the name of the guy who used to live here? Sven something? Great dude. Very into drones. Car. My first boyfriend had a car just like this. In fact, this might even be his car. <laughs> Better keep moving. <laughs> Greenhouse. The only eyes I ever persuaded Maria to throw an egg on Halloween. She put a written apology through the door the next day. Bless her. Maria's parents' house. Doesn't look like any buns in. Oh, we are Maria. Yeah. Some old curtain still. Same old curtain though. So... This place always had a kind of sinister vibe. It looks like it's gotten worse. Oh, she does not get along with her parents, apparently. Oh. System... Bulea? 
System sustainable ale. Sustainable ale. <laughs> the all important alcohol vault. Closed on a Sunday, of course. I remember Maria's sister agreeing just once to buy us a bottle of wine. Wait, what? We are not Maria. Are we Sarah? So Maria was the one texting, help, 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 please, 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 and then Sarah replied, are we Sarah? Because she was rosé they had. Maria couldn't stand and immediately threw up. Am I getting confused? It's always the same things. Lost cats, church meetings, and some for sale notices. Carl Thomas, great livestock for even better prices. I think I'll pass. Town monument? This monument com uh, commemorates the Great Harunga Flood of 1997. Five inches of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a person! Elsa! Good evening! The flower shop! Oh, hold on. That's not Sarah, is it? If we are Sarah! <gasps> we didn't reply our friend! Hi, Elsa. My goodness, it is you! I don't recognize you. It must have been years since... Ten years, yeah? Ten years. It goes fast my age, I tell you. Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh, I imagine it does. Doesn't feel long enough to me. It's not be rude. I imagine it does. You'll feel soon enough. Oh, but... Is it the 12th today? Gosh, it's been a year already. I just need to buy some flowers, really. Oh, who died? You can't go without flowers. No, certainly not. This bunch here is fine. Are you sure? I got some lovely carnations in the back. I'm kind of in a hurry, Elsa. If you say so. Are we going... Are we on... No, is Maria dead? And you're all right, are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, don't tell me Maria's dead and it's her it's her tombstone we're on our way to with the flowers. Ice cream truck, you speed! Ugh, my voice. Oh, my voice. My voice. I can hear the jingle jingle just like that. Ica, the beating heart of the all little towns. All good place to go and hang out and anywhere around here. Almost feel good to see it again, actually. I don't know what Ica is. We do not have that in Denmark. Joseph's fruit. Joseph's fruit. Ah, yes, Joseph. Or Joseph. Consistently took the top spot in our ranking of the creepiest people in Horunga. He must be ancient now. <laughs> Paradise. Paradiesel. Paradise. Or windows. Pop decent. Apparently after the sign broke, they appeared... Or they thought it would be cheaper to rename it instead of repairing it. Oh, boy. To this day, I can't here take a walk on the wild side without thinking of saturday night at the karaoke's here police station the police station i still have bad dreams about this place sometimes what did you do sarah what did you do oh, of course where else would it want to be on a sunday church i have vivid memory of sitting at the pews for graduation. I'm promising myself I will be the last of the hundreds of hours I spent here. We've really been looking for it. Yeah, we've really been looking forward to it. That's a very flat umbrella. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh. Fancy tune. Pretty damn fancy. I guess there has to be some reward for founding a shit. Shit, whole town like this, damn. Grandparents' grave. Grandma, and grandpa's parents, or gra a grave. Maybe I should have gotten them flowers too. Which of the tombs is it? Oh. Don't make me cry already. Maria's dead? 1992. Oh my gosh, she's the same age as me. Oh no. Or as you were. Maria Berg. Maria Bell. Maria Bell. And there are still so many paths I haven't trodden. Where is that from? I don't know what people do at gravestones. You sad? Nah, I was just about to say so. I'm gonna cry. Speak to her. Is it we ever speak to you? I want to speak to you. But also, I don't know what to say. She's shrinking like further and further down. <laughs> Hi, Maria. 
I miss you. I guess it's the first thing. And I'm so sorry I weren't here for the funeral. Oh. It was my fault. I couldn't be back in time. I just couldn't face it. I was too wrapped in my own feelings. Don't fucking did no 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 no. It was it's always your own fault. That's a lie. But you know. Something as simple as work, which it is in this case, it seemed like. Mm -mm. I was too wrapped up in my own feelings. I just couldn't face it. If I were to respond to this, I would probably say I couldn't face it. I just couldn't face it. So here you are. You really never did leave after all. Just why? Sorry, but you should have come with me. You shouldn't, or you wouldn't be here if you just... We had it all planned out. How could you have let this place keep you? I just can't help feeling angry with you. I think she is angry. It sounds like she is angry. I just can't help feeling angry with you. It's okay to be angry, because anger is, can also be suppressed sadness at the same time. Because if you had just joined me, this wouldn't have happened, you know? Okay, are we back in time now? I quite like this dress. That's a doggy. You do? Ugh, no, it's crap, isn't it? <laughs> so, what are you wearing? Hmm? Don't make me stand here looking terrible all on my own. Where is your outfit? Oh, I'll decide on something later. Nothing fits properly. No, you're right. We should be focusing on what actually matters. Booking the tickets. Yeah. So I think we should get the bus to Stockholm on the Friday and... Sarah. What? Sarah, I'm... Pregnant. You're... Pregnant. Pregnant? Yes, pregnant. Jesus. Yeah. Okay, okay. And it's the guys? That guy's? Jacob's? Okay, it's fine. Don't panic. We can sort this out. We can make an appoint. I don't need an appointment, Sarah. I'm going to have a baby. You. I thought about it a lot, and this is what I want to do. I'm actually really excited. Wait. What do you mean, we? Me and Jacob. Oh, yeah, we want to do. You mean your parents? Those Jesus freaks can't make you do this, Maria. No one is making me do anything. But how is it going to work with us going to Stockholm? <laughs> we aren't going to Stockholm. No, we aren't. I don't think I can now. Maria, I'm so sorry, Sarah. I wasn't sure how to tell you or when. I know how I know how much this mm, look, you can't have a baby. You can't have one just because the backward Bible bashing town expect you to- Oh, it's Christian town to keep it. You aren't listening to what I'm saying, Sarah. Well, I should at least thank you for giving me the heads up. Sarah. I have to go. I have tickets to book. Oh, the struggles. She's sad. She's pregnant. There is so much going on here. Religion, friendship, being sad and angry, and then because they, they, like, Maria felt, or Sarah felt, like, left alone, and oh my god. That text the night you died. What do you want to tell me? I just can't let it go. And this all seems... And why would you be out driving on that road? I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking about it for the last year. And it just, it just doesn't seem like an accident to me. Ba, Goodness. It really is you. You know? Oh. Sorry I didn't expect to see... You didn't expect to see me at my little sister's grave on the anniversary of her death. But the rain, I wasn't expecting anyone here. But this downpour, I wasn't expecting anyone here. Oh, I'm sure. I must say I'm surprised to see you too. Given that we didn't see you at the funeral. I'm sorry. I, I wish I could have been there. She missed you a lot, you know. I missed her too. Life just gets busy, doesn't it? So little time checking in on dear old friends, right? We had fallen a little out of touch, yeah. That's one way of putting it. Do you see much of her family? Her son Johannes and... uh. 
Jacob. And Jacob? I've been helping here out with Johannes from time to time. A terrible age to lose a parent. I can't imagine. What keeps you so busy in the city? I'm a copywriter at an advertising firm. Oh, I'm in charge of the copy of some big accounting firm. Writing mostly. Let's just keep it that, that one. The middle one is like, ah, I'm, oh, I'm. Uh, no, let's keep it straight and simple. I'm a copywriter at an advertising firm. Good for you. The line there. Uh, that line there and there. All still so many paths I haven't trodden. Where's it from? Oh, it's from a poem she wrote. One of the cheerier, cheerier ones. It's beautiful. Yeah, she never gave up on the writing. She turned her old bedroom into a sort of study. It's full of the stuff. I don't think Bart Jacobs had the heart to move any out of it yet. And of course, there was the writing group that Gunnell started. I'm sure you remember her. Fortunately, yes. What else was she up to before she... Oh, you know, same old Maria. Mothering, church. Church? Yeah, Sarah. Church. Um, didn't, I didn't know she was religious. I'm surprised by that, to be honest. Oh, when did the god bothers get her? Don't be a, don't be a dick. I'm a little surprised by that, to be honest. I dare say there are a lot of things you don't know about what Maria's life was like after you left. Look, I kind of want to spend some time with my sister now. It was nice to see you. Mm. God, what a bitch. But I guess it's not long ago her mom died as well. I think it's it's slightly justified. Like, it's not okay to be an idiot, but it's valid to have her feelings hurt and, and the sister being so sad and angry at the same time. It's not like she ever particularly liked me. She was always blaming me when Maria got in trouble. Christ. I just need to know. What happened to you, Maria? What does this town do to you? It's time to find out. Okay. So town is hella religious. Maybe I should talk to Gondel about the writing club she and Maria were in. So I need to find Gondel. Although I can think of a few things worse than talking to Gondel. Surely she still she surely she can't still work at the supermarket in town. Bring them surprised that old bad is still alive. So this is church religious town in Sweden. In 2020. We left town 10 years ago. We are not very religious. We were like the rebellion youth. And uh, Maria was religious, or her parents were, and we felt she were forced into religion and forced to have a baby due to their religion. Now there's a strange sight. Teach! Sorry, that sounds weird now. You always wanted to watch too many American movies. It's just Philip now. I can guess why you're back. I think you can, yeah. Awful tragedy. Such a waste of potential. She always liked you, you know. What the fuck is that to say? What? Excuse me? Oh, I do know. Maria became rather good friends of a kind. I teach her son Johannes now, as a matter of fact. All right. He's very bright, too. Not sideways by recent event, of course. But what have you been up to in Stockholm all these years? Writing? I do hope it wasn't only Maria who kept the dream alive. Uh, not really, I'm an account executive at an ad agency. Yep, still writing. Uh, yeah, let's do the top one. Not really, I'm an account executive at an ad agency. And it's all going well down there? Ups and downs, but mostly it's good. So life is what it looks. It's great, yeah. It's a little lonely, but I'm just gonna say it's great, yeah. We don't owe him anything. It's great, yeah. It's nice, you know, student. Imagine you have lots of people to catch up with, so I won't keep you. It does seem like it. I'm going to stay and watch the game here if you lose up. Uh, if you have a lose... If you if you want to join later. Bah. Thanks. Yeah. Although you'll find it hard not to run into your old sparring partner, Officer Nielsen, around here. Oh, we were a little trouble troublemaker. Stan Nielsen? Stan Nielsen is still here? I'm surprised, to be honest. You're a lot of surprised. You and me both. Dreadful, really, that he was the one to break the news to us about Maria. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. He was the first policeman at the scene of the crash. Only made sense, I suppose. Teach. Sorry. Philip. Yes. Does Gunnel still work at the ICA? Oh yeah, sounds like perhaps you'll have several places to avoid today. Well, I'll see you later, maybe. Take care, Sarah. Thanks, you too. So the ICA is the supermarket. Such a waste of potential. Yeah, exactly! What was that? Keeping the dream alive? Excuse me? Could Teach see it? That there were another life you wanted to lead? 
Now, which torture would I like to subject myself to first? Have my ears chewed off by gun at the supermarket? Or endure attempts at humor? Nah, I'm not gonna do the police. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the ICA. Let's go. Where am I? There. In! Is that Gunnel? Hello? Hello, Gunnel. Who's that? It's Sarah. Sorry. Sarah who? I know you remember me, Gunnel. I see a lot of people in my line of work. Don't worry about all of them. Just whatever. I need to ask you something. Oh, hold on. Are you the girl who left town? Yes. The one who ran off with another woman? The lesbian? Ugh, Gunnel, just listen. Oh, it was awful breaking your parents' heart like that. You, oh my god. Oh, I see you're just as hateful as you ever were. Can I please just ask you something? Let's just get over with, yeah. I suppose so it depends on what it is. Look, you're into writing group. I'm a founding member of the Harunga writing group, yes. If you wanted to join, I'd have to ask her the group. We don't take just anybody. I don't want to join. I want to ask about Maria. Ah, yes, such a shame. Yes, but she was in a group too. Yes, yes. She was a good enough writer. If only she hadn't written about such dreary, awful things. Like what? Oh, it's always death, this, death, that, depressing. And before she died, she was writing about that kind of thing? Well, to be perfectly honest, I can't say. And she didn't even have the decency to turn up in the session that week. She didn't show up? The week before she died? And we're very clear that non-attendance should be announced before. Why didn't she come? She didn't say. What color? Oh, Carlo, but Carlo, you know Carlo? Our family. He has a wife. He has that wife who was from some oriental place. Weird woman. Stop, please. What about Carlo? He said he'd seen her around that week, all sort of. Of all sorts. What do you mean? Heard in the head in the clouds, struck by something. That's what I said. Or that's what I heard. Not herself. Why are you asking? Weren't you too thick as thieves? So you do remember me. I did, I suppose. <laughs> I was rude of- it was- uh, it was rude of her not to tell us why she wasn't come. Okay, I'm done. D yeah, you- bye, God. <laughs> well, you're welcome! Oh, God, she does talk a lot. God, likes to give her a piece of my mind one day. Another time. If I ever came back here, that is. Not herself. I wonder if she didn't go to her writing group. Ugh, time to talk to the chief. Yep. Mm -hmm. Paradise it. Sir Gunnel! Not Gunnel. Uh, Stain! Good day! Stain Nielsen at your service. Hello, Stain. Well, 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 if it isn't a little Miss City Slicker, Sarah will do. <laughs> Bet they don't know about your delinquent past during the uh, down in Stockholm, do they? Still shoplifting? I was 14, Stain. Once a thief, always a thief, they say. <laughs> Come turn yourself in, is it? A night in itself for all time's sake? I want to ask you about Maria. Oh, oh yes. The anniversary. Took you long enough to company your respects. Or come pay respects. What I do is none of your business. Everything in this town is my business, young lady. But go on then, fire away. You're the one who was called to the scene, right? Of the crash? I was, yeah. Where was it? Don't you know? You're, you're, you actually did cast all you uh, you really did cast us all off didn't you that is this game is a bit difficult to read i gotta admit please just answer the questions uh, gosh i wonder why i want to do that yeah i'm just gonna be resilient here and stick go stick through it please just answer the question as you please it was out on the main road south to stockholm about an hour down why on earth would maria be out on that road I am a mind reader, Sarah. Or am I a mind reader, Sarah? So what happened? Oh, you know how fast it gets dark time this year. And that old road. Branch in the way or something. She skidded off the side and into rocks below. Good thing it was me who got her call, really. Telling the family should always be left to someone, left to someone senior. Oh. I'm head of the pre precinct these days now, you know? Right. Can I get back to my work now? You can get back to your scratching your ass, yeah. If you continue to disrespect this office, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Suits me just fine. 
chief of the precinct, my god. What was she doing out on that road? Hmm. Lena said Jacob hasn't clear, uh, cleared the things from her old room. Why I decided to live in her parents' creepy old house, I cannot imagine. Maybe we should talk to Jacob. I wonder what he's like now. Okay, so now we've got to go back to Maria's parents' house, because that's where Jacob, her husband, uh, or boyfriend, or whatever, partner, and son Johannes live. Which was a long way back, so we're going all the way. Going all the way. Doopie doopie doo. I can talk to Elsa again. I don't want to. Doopie. Man, why in the world are you watering the plants when it's pouring down? My god. <laughs> Ma'am, I don't know. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. Mm -mm. Good old Bible basher HQ. Herp. Maria's parents were extremely religious, it seems like. Maria's room used to be on the second floor, so up there. Can I go in? Used to be on the second floor. Yeah. But can I go in? Oh. Hello? Doors used to be open. Ah! Don't you- don't walk into other people's homes! Uh, hello? Oh. Sarah? What are you doing here? I didn't mean to barge in. The door was open. Yeah, they usually are around here. Oh, sorry. Maybe this is a bad time. I can't... No, it's fine. Sorry, I was just... I just wasn't expecting you. I'm just back for the day, really. Okay. May I come in? Sure, of course. Come into the dining room. Pretty strange to be back in this house. I can imagine. Not that. Would you like a coffee? Only if you're making some. That'd be nice. Sure. This is too awkward. <laughs> Hello. Mm. You must be Johannes. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Johannes. I mean, we've met before, but only once and you were very small. Well, anyway, where's my dad? He's in the kitchen. Do you want me to get him for you? No, it's okay. Poor kid. It seems like we're out of coffee. I haven't really, I, I haven't really had time. Oh, don't worry, Johannes is big now. Yeah, and shy. And today is not a good day, of course. How are you? No, you know, today is... I, I understand. But I'm alright. That's good. Feels like another lifetime when I was here last. Hmm. What year is Johannes in now? Fourth grade. And he's getting stuck in his hockey. We both have really good distraction. Right. Yeah, yeah this is hella awkward. Why are you here, Sarah? In Halunga? Uh, I couldn't make it last year. I, it just seemed like the right time. Yeah, is that, let's try that and see what happens. It seemed like the right time. Hmm. Right. Jacob, do you think it would be okay if I had a look at Maria's old room? I'm afraid it's not very tidy. I haven't really got around to... No, that's okay. Sure, if you want to. Thanks. It's up the stairs and... You remember where it is, of course. I won't be long. Hmm. Picture of Maria? Maria? The top she's wearing. I can't remember if it was mine and she stole it. Or I just borrowed it so often that it felt like it was mine. Oh, it, oh she automatically goes up. Okay. Damn. Master bedroom. <gasps> oh, God. It hasn't changed at all. That's... Dad. Dad. Bookshelf. A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula Kaligun. She was always trying to get me to read her stuff. I'm not sure why I never did. She really was still writing. Poetry mostly looks like. How long a row must lie ahead between the light and me? Hmm. Is it what you wrote about Maria? I think we have to be cautious of self-harm in here, friends. Yeah, we are.
sitting on a no car. It always looks so small from up here. It is small. It's tiny. I'm going to miss these forests, so they've got plenty of forests in Stockholm Arena. And anyway, we won't have time. Between the literally festivals and the parties, we're not going to be very successful riders if we all we do is party. I write a great American novel in mornings. American? It's a figure of speech, Maria. You're going to love it. And speaking of love, you're such a dick. <laughs> How's your new moped guy? What's his name? You don't know his name. Question. If we're gay, one of the reasons we really had a hard time with her getting pregnant, could that be because we were in love with her? You know his name. Mm, Jay something. Jacob. Right. It's good. I like him. Hmm. You think he's stupid? I didn't say anything. No, but I know what you think. Look, I didn't say it's okay. You just happen to be wrong about him, that's all. Okay, okay, if you say so. How long is it now? 11 months, are. 11 months. Leaving this shithole can't come soon enough. Are they waiting for them to turn 18? Is that it? Or it be done with, like, their school in the area or whatever? God. Yeah, I think bad. It's like some sort of weird shrine to her youth in here. Even the sheets are the same. I think we clicked on everything. Hmm, what this? A system bolel received for two bottles of vodka. Wait. This is from is it is from Daisy Yeah, okay, trigger warning this game is probably that the car crash that were an accident were really an accident. She kind of maybe did it herself. Just please be cautious, okay? She used to hate vodka. Why would she? Oh. I should go. I don't imagine would Jacob want me hang around too long. Must be quite nostalgic for you. The room, I mean. It was. Jacob? I hope you don't mind me asking. Where were you and Johannes on that day? On this day last year? We were at a hockey game, actually. Seems impossible to think about us even enjoying ourselves that afternoon now. But Maria got us tickets to a hockey game. She usually comes too, but she said it was a special father-son treat. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Thank you. It's... It's good luck back at the city. Thank you for having me. I didn't get that phrasing. Huh? Good luck? I get a city? Huh? Mm. So on the afternoon that she died, Maria sent them off to a hockey game? Because she wanted them out of the way? This is insane. The police would have investigated the possibility that... But the police means Officer Nilsson. He easy could have just assumed it was a road accident. Without really thinking about the alternatives. That is true. Back to the steam level because we had a receipt. Or... No? Fuck back to the police. Elsa? Yes, my dear. Can you remember... My life steal trap, my god! <laughs> Don't let the wrinkles fool you! Did, did you happen to see Maria on the day she died? I did, I did! Must have been one of those last people... To do so, I would say. She was coming back this way. Funny look around her. Or funny look about her. What do you mean funny? All sneaky looking. Mind you, I look sneaky too. If I was up buying great big bottles of alcohol in the middle of the afternoon. Of course, it's easy enough to keep tabs on who was a little too fun of the ring these parts. Standing here all day as I do. She had a system. Bolel bag, didn't she? She did. Point blank refused to tell me what she had all to drink for. I'm no busybody, you know. I do for the public's good. Okay, okay. Thanks, Elsa. Bye-bye now. Mm. Surely someone else has put two or two together. I just speak to Lena. But why was she... Mm. Hopefully she left the grave. Yeah, so we need to speak to the big sister and ask around. Like, yeah, did no one notice 
Did no one notice that Maria was depressed as fuck? Kind of self-harming? Did no one put two and two together with the, the poets and the everything that she was not in a good space? I thought I might see you again. I'm kind of in a hurry. I Cigarette? No, thanks. Are you alright? You seem... Uh, just a little odd to be back, that's all. I can only imagine. Philip, do you happen to remember where you were doing on the, or what you were doing this event, evening last year? Do you remember? Goodness. I'm not sure how I could forget. Where were you? Where? A snow body. Gosh, no, I suppose you wouldn't know. I was at Maria's house. We all were. I mean, I was, and Johannes, and Jacob, and a few Maria's other friends. What? Why? I wish I knew. It was all quite mysterious. She invited us all to come around that evening. But she wouldn't quite say why. What did she say? She said that all it would be revealed, but we weren't allowed to know beforehand. So we were all there at seven, like she asked. Of course, she never arrived. Instead, we got off resisting at the door with the awful news. What did you think you were all there for? It's odd. In all the shock of what happened, I haven't really thought about it much. Bah! I guess I assume she was the one to say something or tell us something. This town, these town folk are completely oblivious. It must have been terrible. Of course it was. But it was strangely a kind of a blessing. That we were all together, I mean. Almost as if she knew. Mm hmm. I need to find Lena. No problem. Give her my best. Yeah, as if she knew it would be smart to collect all her friends, family, and all anything that could have any meaning to be together when they received news of this passing. Yeah. I could have helped. I could have stopped you. I didn't know what else stop you. How can I make it up to you? What should I do? Oh, she's so guilty. Oh. You deserve for people to know the truth. No matter how painful it is to hear. This is... Oh. Are you still here, Lina? Mm, yeah. Lina? Hello, Sarah. I need to talk to you. Are you alright? You look... No, no, I'm not alright. I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something. Excuse me? Listen to me. Listen to what? Why could no one see that Maria killed herself? Sarah, I think we need to have a serious converse. Yes, we do. This shit whole town ha hounded her to death. Hounded her to death. She drove her car off a road after getting blind drunk to get away from her life and nobody else even realized. She got trapped here by a pregnancy that you all made her keep and, if, and it finally got too much for her. All the God-fearing hypocrisy and all the nastiness and all the narrow-minded crap that has always been the bread and butter in this place. I should have been there for her, but so should everyone else. And just letting it slide that her fucking idiot police didn't even bother to investigate her death properly so that everyone can carry on thinking they didn't have a hand in it. It's so not good enough. It's not what she deserved. Are you finished? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just really angry and- No, Sarah. You're not angry. I am angry. I've never heard. How dare you come here today and say things like that? Do you have an, any idea? No. Well, that's not a problem, is it? You have no idea. What are you talking about? Oh god, you haven't said this to anyone else? No, I haven't said. I think you need to leave Harunga. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm going. Yes, you are. But you're going to come with me first. You need to see something. Don't tell me that this girl was so deeply in love with her as well, but then she did feel trapped. Oh no, what? Okay, they, they, okay, this is taking a turn. Maybe. What? What do I need to... Just shut up and walk. You've done enough talking. What about, what about our parents? Where are our parents and all this, this, this stuff? Where are our parents? Oh, I don't want to go in there. I don't care what you want. Okay. Verse 748. Picture of her. This is all to... Her, her day? Memory? Oh, it's memory for her day. There is an even song service tonight for Maria, which you didn't know of, of course. You don't know the first thing about Maria. Look around. Look at all these candles people have lit. Flowers, letters, pictures of her. You thought because she chose to stay in this small town she couldn't possibly be enjoying her life? 
because she wasn't slaving away in Stockholm? For a one-bedroom apartment and a failed career as a writer? How is it going with your wonderful life, hmm? Did you really think she had nothing? Did you think she had mourned by countless people here that you never bothered to get to know? No, that's not... Shut up! My sister had a full, rich life here. She loved and always loved enormously. And you come up here for one day in the last decade and think you've seen something we were all too thick to work out. Lena, I'm so sorry about the evidence. Evidence? Is this a game to you? Come on, uh, come home to play detective? Go on then, tell me. What is your evidence that my beautiful baby sister did not fact die in a tragic accident? One that we've all spent the last year desperately coming to terms with? Look, if you don't want to hear, I understand. You understand nothing. But go on, let's have it then. Well, all the vodka she bought. I found the receipts from the day, uh, the day she died in her room. She was acting strange that day and making sure Jacob and Johannes were out of town. And all those dark poets she wrote. And poems she wrote. And that was and at the party. She gathered you all together so that when she died... I finished. You'll have to forgive my rural ignorance here. But I wasn't aware that writing poems on dark themes weren't <laughs> meant you were suicidal. And the party... You want to know what the party was about? She'd been working on a book. And she said samples to an agent who wanted to take her on. So she wrote... Oh, no, so she was going to throw a surprise party to tell everyone. I... Anything suspicious about that officer? Why did Philip not tell me that? I never told him. It would have broken his heart. No, I don't have to explain myself to you. But that's wonderful news. As if you care. On all of this... All this waste life because she was going to see. What? Not. Go home, Sarah. What was she going to see? You don't deserve to know. You who couldn't even be bothered to text her one month to the next. Nina, please. You. She was going to see you. She said you were so stuck in your office all weekend. So she was going to go shopping in the city and surprise you with her news in person. And then get back in time for the surprise party. I told her it was ridiculous, but she was set on it. Convinced, convinced she'd want to share this moment with her. Because she didn't give up on your friendship, Sarah. But yeah, that's why she was alone on that road. Because of you. I don't know what to say. I do. You were so arrogant that you thought it was impossible that living here could make someone happy. That having a house and a son and a family could make someone complete. I'm... I'm so sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. No, you didn't. You came here to see what you wanted to see. And what you wanted to see was the confirmation that you chose the right path. And that she didn't. I mean, I'm so sorry. Don't be. I'm so sorry for thinking you might have changed. The service will be starting soon and don't think it's inappropriate for you to be here. Goodbye, Sarah. This is so interesting because I I went down the same road as, as as Sarah did immediately. Of course, again we're seeing the game through her eyes and her perspective, so of course it makes sense to jump to the same conclusion because that's what the game leads you on to do. But when you this proves that it's really important to hear things from two sides, and then her her view is blinded by hatred for the town. So of course she's gonna she's gonna make this narrative of this city being awful at the cause of her death and her being depressed, and that's gotta be the only reason she died. Whereas her sister, who were here, can confirm that had nothing to do with it. But she was happy with her life here in this little town. And she just lived life and there weren't accidents. So these are two different views, two different sides. And depending on which narrative you follow it through, it, it fits. You know? We need to leave. Can I click the image? I couldn't click anything. It stopped raining? Yeah. Just go? Go to bus? Dot, dot, dot. Go back in? Brave. Dot, dot, dot. I, Maria, 
I'm... No. I have nothing to... I can't excuse myself. Mm -mm. And it hurts because if you... If you were here, you would forgive me. For all my... For all my selfishness. My stupidity. Because you were... You were just the most... Oh. But Lena's right. I hardly knew you at all. But that's the thing, isn't it? You aren't here. And if you were, none of this would have... And and if I had been there for you, then you might still be here. Don't guilt trip yourself, it's not your fault. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry not to have deserved our friendship better. I love you. And I can't believe I left this late to make it clear. I really do. Even though I'm so bad at it. Come on, Maria. And congratulations, too, on the book. I bet it was beautiful. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, my. Oh, we're gonna walk up to the hill where we looked over the town. Oh. And then what we're we gonna do? Hmm? Long walk. Very long walk. The car is still there. <laughs> oh, it's automatic. Okay. Oh, this is awful. This is a sad story. She had such deep hatred for this town. She refused to believe anything good can come of it. It could come of it. Her friend Maria, she probably had a good time. She did li live her life like she wanted, but Sarah refused to believe that could be a be a reality. So of course, of course, everything had to be dark. Which again is why I always jump to the same conclusion. Mm. This was interesting. The game, the game purposely led you on to get the same belief. That was interesting. Really, really, really interesting. That was it. How we know we're alive. Thank you so much for recommending this game. We occasionally do very, very harsh, heart sensitive topics, games, both on streams and as videos. And this is definitely one of them that are really, really good to 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 showcase. It's good for the soul, good for the heart, even though it hurts a little bit, because these topics are sensitive and something people need to talk about more. In many ways, because one thing is the passing of a loved one. But also the character replayed her her stubbornness and refusal to believe anything she didn't like couldn't have been a good place. But there are so many underlying tones, so it's important to know there's no right or wrong here. It's more an interesting way to look at both sides and maybe maybe consider there always are two sides of a coin to everything. So yeah, this is how we know where a live game is in the description if you want to play this by yourself and see if something else happens if you choose different dialogue options. And then that'd be it. Zoom. Thank you for today. I'll see you guys next time.